So I think it's what? It's what? 15 to a row? I think so. I, I don't know. It's been a while. I think so, because I think the max you can get is um, 30. Ooh, bomb flower. Ooh. <sighs> okay, there's two in. Where's you know you know, buddy. There he is. You know, Bo. I know he's. Quit looking. staring off at the space. We need you for for demolition. He's not staring off into space. There's no space down here. He's looking at the rocks. Quit, <laughs> quit staring off into rocks. <laughs> it's like he's a goron. It's his job. Literally, the president of you know, Boko. It is his job. And also, too, I do love that that explosion sets the grass on fire. Wee. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it begins. <laughs> yep. Guys, Link's trying to pick something up. Uh, okay, yeah, that's I think that's about the third time we've referenced this comic. I don't know if y'all have seen this, but what happens is, oh god, I thought you dropped him for a minute. No, he's there. Um, what happens is, it sh is that so. When you get the um, the the little spirit avatars of your sages, you know obviously you know they're very helpful to have around here because you don't always know when you'll need their thing, their abilities. But boy, will you know when you don't need them, and you don't necessarily need them if you're just trying to pick stuff off the ground. It's apparently become it's apparently very easy to accidentally activate the abilities that you don't intend to. So, someone made this comic of Link leaning over, I, what, he's, he's, he's picking up an apple, right? Or something like that? Because uh -huh. as he does, you know, he's a little <laughs> big either man. And Tulin Tool, and just screams to the other sages, Hi everyone, Link's trying to pick something up! And you just see the oh crap look dawn on Link's face as he realizes what's about to happen. And then all of them activate, activate the abilities and the poor apple just goes flying into yeah. the distance. Yeah, like Link is standing there surrounded by like a bubble of water and like there's a big explosion in the background and a gust of wind blows the apple away and it's like encountered by this like golden light thing, lightning is striking and he's just like... Bye bye. Bye bye, snack. <laughs> I think the comment. I think the comment actually. I think the um the description of the comic was. You know, these things are really great, but boy, are they so easy to activate when you don't need them. It's like yeah. Excuse me. I also love the fact that the game tagged. Like you were running around to those two pe to those you know those two those two pieces of rock. One of them was labeled as rock, and one of them was labeled as stone, as though they were as though that for whatever reason there was enough difference in between the two of them that the game felt a need to be specified. And I don't know why that's so funny to me. I don't either, but you're all right. It is kind of funny. <laughs> also, this this cave might be a great place to farm bomb flowers. Mm. And you know, I wonder if it's one of those things. Usually, it's thinking um. A lot of times in Zelda caves, you know, once you, like, you leave, um, oh my god, hello. Yeah, oh, we found blue rocks now. Oh, I didn't even see that little guy. <laughs> oh god, I thought you did! <laughs> no, I completely missed him. Here's another one. Bonk. There we go. Are those the ones that you can actively, like, pick up and throw down if you want to? Yes, uh, you can, you can torture them if you so choose by picking them up and throwing them around. Aww. Yes, and and as you can see, we're getting to the area now where there are the blue rocks and then eventually the black rocks. And those rocks take a lot of punishment, even from you know, Bo. Yeah, I, I do wonder what rock just, what, like, what, like, giant piece of, like, cobbling rock just is naturally blue. I understand, like, you know, there's minerals and, sal and like, salts in a bunch of rocks, but those ones look almost indistinguishable from the brown rocks that you've been breaking without, just, except for the color. Like, who decided to spray paint down here? Like, what is this? Whee! What the? I, I can't hit it where it's where it is. Ah, you hit the treasure chest, though. Yeah. And you're gonna open the treasure chest in the middle of the fight. I want my soldier's pants. I, can you wait and get the soldier's pants so you know you're not gonna die to this thing? I don't think it actually kills me. I think it just... Okay, fine. It's not going to kill you. But can you at least wait until you know you're not gonna get damaged by this thing? Come on, buddy. Oh wait, oh my god! <laughs> I forgot! It's not point thing. I forgot the link like 
Pigs can eat your avatar. <laughs> oh, buddy. There you go, buddy. It's okay. There we go. Meanwhile, Toon just turned off like, What on earth are you doing, Link? Why did you let my avatar get eaten? He's like, I didn't. I was distracted running away from it, and your avatar didn't follow me. <laughs> Till it's just like everything went black there for a minute. And I didn't know what happened, but it was gross. And now you're, <laughs> you're just standing there staring with your plug eyes. Well, what? I can't, I cannot deal with this mask of yours. Just so many of your masks are ridiculous. You got, I mean, you got this one. You of course got Cece's hat because nobody can deal with Cece's hat. I don't even think Cece can deal with Cece's hat. I mean, look at it. How else do you explain that you can go to her for a fashion check and you can be wearing freaking Ganondorf's clothing, but as long as you have the hat on, she's like, 10 out of 10 with, with fashion again. <laughs> You're just like, why? Yeah. Uh, you know, but... You know, but, buddy, buddy, look, I know this is a little smaller than what you're used to, but you can fit through these doorways. It's fine. Yes, you actually can fit through them. And You're even, fine. And maybe if you can't, you are a spirit, you can go through walls. I mean, think about it. Even when you weren't a spirit, you still managed to go through walls. How do you think you caught up to me so fast? <laughs> Whenever I exited caves. I mean, basically, your spirit, like these spirits, like your little companions, basically turn into Hortas for a little bit. Able to tunnel through solid stone. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe a little bit just don't leave tunnels in their way. Oh, boy. What the? How did it bounce? I think it looked like he hit the bottom right at the base of it and then rebounded off the ceiling, which is very, very low, and then almost smashed you in the face. And look at him, he looks guilty. <laughs> it's alright, buddy, it's fine. You can't actually hurt me. Oh, hi guys. How you doing? <laughs> Did that skeleton just pick up a stone and throw it at your head? Yes. That is way funnier than it should have been. I mean, look, not to say that, that rock would have never. Like, would it hurt if it collides with your skull? But it's not necessarily gonna do any damage. The skeleton just had the giant rock to close. Panic, pick up a tiny cobblestone and yeet it in Ooh, your direction. Topaz and a ruby, that's right. While the rocks are more difficult to break, they do offer um, better chances at um, getting, like, minerals and stuff. Oh, there was a, I knew that there was a little cave down here and a truffle. Which, if I make, will create a dish. Which, which, if I cook, sorry, will create a dish that restores all health. <gasps> that you don't have to crouch for seven minutes for. Go you. Hopefully. Oh god, if you do, I'm gonna... I mean, really, where can they go? Where can they go? They Doesn't mean they can't fly upwards. True, but boy, does this make it so much easier. Oh, look, like frog. There is another one. Where are you, buddy? Did it fly away? Where did it go? It may have. But, hey, you got that too. I got uh, fairies. I did yeah, not expect them to be down here, but I'm so happy for them. Oh my god. I didn't even realize they were there for a minute. I thought you were really excited about the fish, which would have been fair, but, you know. Then you saw the fairies and like, oh, okay, so that's what he's excited about. Woo! Oh yeah, because I'm out of fairies. Yeah, that's right. Because of that one enemy that was one-shotting me in, in the temple. Oh, god, yeah, that, so that one soldier construct, right? Yeah. That's what happens. They think that you're too good at the game, so they're trying to bust you down a little bit. Bust me down by giving me the harder enemies. I, well. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's how the game works. Yeah. At least with the constructs. They, that doesn't mm. happen with other enemies, I take it. Um, actually, no. If all, all the enemies um, increase difficulty as you defeat enemies. I explained the EXP system last time, right? You did, but the way you were talking about it, it sounded like it was just something for the soldier construct. No, no, it's, sorry, it's for every enemy, including, um, Lynels. Lynels will actually become harder difficulties <laughs> as you defeat, um, various other enemies. Ooh. Okay, that was actually really good timing, but because it because that little ooh worked for both the electrical thing that just happened and thinking about how difficult the Lynels are going to be now. Yeah, well, well, it's not just now. It's like defeating. That's what, fair. Yeah, let me, let me just explain. Defeating any enemy up to I think it's like twenty of that enemy grants you a certain number of points, mm -hmm. and once the points uh, surpass a certain level, um, certain enemies in the game will become more difficult, and certain new um, higher levels of um, 
weapons will become available. But it does not happen with every enemy. There are certain enemies that um, will remain the same level throughout the game, which is why you can sometimes see like a red McCoblin hanging out in the middle of like blues or silvers, because that's just one of the enemies that's not that isn't set to increase in difficulty. A lot do, but a, but a number of them also don't. So that way you can um, still find the other enemies. Like for soldier constructs. You can still find the lower level soldier constructs around in different areas so that way you can get the unique items they drop oh. you know because if every soldier construct became like you know like a higher level you wouldn't be able to find soldier construct one horns anymore which would be a problem if you if you need the the, the level one horns to wake up the uh or to like upgrade something okay so, on the um this looks like a bad idea. Me doubles this is, down. This is a very bad idea. What? It's just a style knock. Oh, just a style knock, you say? Yeah, I'll be fine. I mean, he dies. Okay. Good luck. Don't die. Save game. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually doing it, aren't you? <laughs> well, you insisted, so. I said good luck, don't die, when I did. Die. That's the part I don't insist on. Saving the game is optional. The only time I'm going to insist on it is when you try and get something from the fire dragon. Because of what happened last time with the fire dragon. You know what's kind of funny too is that considering the high levels of speed and destructive damage that Yonobo was doing on these rocks, you'd think it would damage the skeleton bones that are already being exposed. Yeah, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. Master Sword is like, okay, I need a nap. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna use one bomb arrow. Okay. And I'm actually gonna use it on my triple bow, so that way it shoots three even though it only uses one. Now that's recycling. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. No, that's frugality. If recycling is the force of all stuff. This right here, this is frugality. Yes. If you shoot a, you can, I feel like you did this in the last time, you can shoot a rocket to, at these things, right? Yes, but I don't, actually I'm going to test that. Does it break them more if it's like a solid wall? No. Oh, that did very little. It's okay. It was good to experiment because you are right, but it, I'm guessing it only breaks like one rock per rocket. Oh. As... Yeah, that's fair. Wake up. You, I think that's his. Is that his pelvis? No, that's his face. Oh, Lord! What kind of monster do you have where you cannot tell the pelvis from the face? <laughs> you need to get that one rock away from his head, and then he'll be like, huh? "Boom! There you are, buddy. Welcome to the party." <laughs> He's looking at you, and here you're just like, "Here you are." You know, you've been rumbling around in my house. For about two hours by this point, depending on how long it takes to, you know, get the, uh, for you to destroy all the rocks. You keep destroying my bed, I'm trying to ignore you and go to sleep, and then not only do you wake me up, finally, but then you have the audacity to stare in front of me glowing like a freaking moon. You are the worst alarm clock ever. Link basically did the equivalent of waking up the waking up this Stalnox by shining a light in its face, <laughs> slamming the door and, sh and turning on the lights. And the Stalnox is just like, "Why are you like this?" Oh yeah. Actually, can he blow up these rocks that are across the water? Let's find out. No. No, but he did set the grass in the, at the um, edge of your little pond on fire, so there's that. Look! Look at the fire! I see it. <laughs> looks like I do need... Looks, looks like this is what I'm going to need all those bombs for. This looks like a job for bomb arrows. And recycling. And or recycling. no, uh, frugality. Frugality! 
This looks like a chopper for Calvi. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, ice like. Um, ice to meet you too, my friend. Thank you for showing me your knife. Link, Link, change okay. your weapon. There you go, buddy. See? Beautiful. Yeah, now there should be another piece of guard armor somewhere in here. And it's not in the light light. Oh, that would be really funny if it was. Also, I think... Did you know I was about to say that? Because I was really about to say maybe it's in the light like chest. Hey! There we go. Yeah, no, I just need the soldier's chest, and I don't know where that is. I feel like I had trouble finding that originally. Oh, maybe it's up here. Oh, okay. oh yeah, there you go. It'd be really funny if you could pop yourself out of the top of a, uh... If you could, like, actually go through the treasure chest. <laughs> just pop out the top <laughs> of the chest and be like... And then he's just like, damn, I thought I could pick it up that way, and the answer was no. I didn't even get a chance to see what was inside. That's one sturdy box. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's actually. Oh no, wait, never mind. It's a bow. I think it's like, oh, that one's actually un unlike uh, gloomed, but it's like, oh wait, that's a bow. They're never gloomed. Yeah. I, is this so you can like add them to the compendium if you want yes. to see them? Uh, what was that? Was that do it lets you like if you want to you can set your, um you could set your your prayer pad to track yes. the items. Okay. Yeah, so like I kind of get like why like, I kind of get why you do that, but there is a part of it that is kind of funny about Link just being down there taking pictures of weapons, <laughs> like some sort of artsy photographer. Yeah. And honestly, if he's really an artsy photographer, then you've got the ones of, like, views from the skies up top. And, of course, you know, <laughs> the picture of the monster butt. Yep. That you okay. added to the compendium, and that was the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah, actually, oh, oh, that's right, I still don't have the... The, oh, I do have the. Yeah, set. you have all the. Uh, yeah, you have all the. Yiga I was I was trying to check and I couldn't because I couldn't remember if I had all the Yiga stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep, we rescued all the tailors. They're probably having a support group right now. They're like, dear lord, that was a weird experience. Yep, the kidnapped by the Yiga tailor support group. I know. <laughs> I wouldn't blame them. I mean, it's not, it was a very unique, very unfortunate experience for everybody involved. Oh. We must be getting below the castle now. Look at all the red sparkles everywhere. Yeah, I actually saw some earlier when you were getting to the um, stone locks, and I actually checked at the time or at the bottom because I was one because I hadn't seen it before until you started. Um, until I saw like the wrist, the wisps of the red smoke, and I was like, "Baby, is there a blood moon about to happen?" But no, it was 5:45 in the morning, and well, here we are. <laughs> oh, I made grilled mushrooms, but yeah, not what I was aiming for. I, yeah, and you went right through two and two, two, like his little avatar was just standing in the hole, and he looked at you like, what the hell, man? <laughs> what was that about? There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Why did it explode? <laughs> There's no enemies or anything in here. Do you, did you hit it with a fire weapon of sorts? No. Oh, the arrow on my bow must have caught fire when I walked through it. And so when I walked up to it. But it was, it was glitching through the ground so I couldn't see it. Oh, God. <laughs> You realize that's the second time in as many streams that you accidentally blew yourself up with a bomb. Yes, although that one is like I couldn't even see the arrow. <laughs> I mean, Lord, of all the things to happen twice, man, like that is very specific. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that, that was way no. fun. That was way funnier than it should have been. I am sorry. 
I can't great. blame you. I'm just sort of annoyed because it's like, I want the bomb flowers. It's all right. Aren't you, well, hey, aren't you happy you got three more hearts before you came down here? Yes. Don't worry. All you have to do is, hey, don't worry. Once you're done here, you can go back and take a nap somewhere. You'll be fine. Plus, you also got two fairies if the, should the worst happen. And a lot of food. Get down from there. Thanks, Dolan. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Oh my god. Because it's the third version of it. Oh, They're very hardy. I'll do it. Prizing, prizing rocks out of the ceiling to throw at you. Oh, yes. Get, oh, oh, what? The, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling that would happen, but I wasn't quite sure. That was great. I was a li That was great. <laughs> oh man, that Horblin had a bad, that Horblin had a horrible day, shall we say. First his own... First his own projectile got re got time rewound back into his spinal column and then he got betrayed by his friend Rock. All in the middle of getting stabbed by both a tiny Hylian man and a giant glowing blue uh Goron. Goron. With an occasional assistance from a little Rito teenager who is doing his best. Right next to the pile of ashing bones, you know, normal, uh, normal Hyrule stuff. Normal things that, like, oh, seriously, like, you build, like, you clearly built these little, like, house play, like, like, these little sleeping racks for yourself. Like, you know, you make nests and everything, and then you just decide to have a pile of bones that, build, that are falling apart and don't even look useful. Well, given there's the, the meat here, I'm guessing this is where they probably, like, put the, put the stuff, like, they kill, like, the... Like the animals or something? Yeah. Let's go. It, they kept the bones and then are crumbling to ash up onto up next to the beds. I'm like, okay, your taste in decor is very weird. Yep. Sorry, I was just seeing if you know about which shell. You know about You know about I need help with rocks. Sapphire. Keep thinking there's more bright bloom seeds, but those are just your pants. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, you're missing one. I was like, oh, wait, no, 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 that's just the pants. Those are just the pants. Woo. Okay, I think that that is everything in here. I think that's everything. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure I don't like forget like a uh, bubble frog if it's down here. Would there be one down here? You're not exactly in a in a cave, are you? I mean, okay, you kind of are, but is this like an official cave? Is this a bubble frog? I do not know. That's why I'm keeping an eye out. Yeah. I feel like maybe not, considering just how big and expensive and kind of unique this place is. Maybe. Yeah, it is hard to tell. We can look it up later if you want. Yeah, we can look it up later. Sweet. Once we get to the other end. Woo! <sighs> Blue duckling that can shoot fire, where are you? Well, there's two. Hi, buddy. Okay. Hi, Tulin. Hi, Tulin. I love that. Blue duckling that can shoot fire, where are you? Tulin shows up expectantly. It's like, hi, buddy. <laughs> It's like, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but... Uh, as we discussed earlier, you cannot actually shoot fire. I am sorry. Tulin? Tulin, please, where's your friend? I'm guessing he's still downstairs. Let's just run this... You know, let's jump in the water so that way they both despawn. Oh, I'm 
For what it's worth, your master sword's power has been restored. Yep. Alright, try again. There he is. Give me your belly. There's something really funny about like not only like you know by rolling up, but the fact like just blink like rolling it up and then just kind of walking alongside it like it's one of those tire rolly like um, races that you do in field days. Mm -hmm. You're like, hey, I got the tire, except the tire is a freaking Goron. Like, all right, just need to get this into position and booyah. Four bombs, nice. Oh boy, is there more? There more skills and fun to be had here. No, I think this is just leads to where potentially the third piece of armor is. Ooh. And as you can see, we're almost right below Hyrule Castle now. Yep. As if the active gloom fog wasn't enough of a hint. That's the only place that's really had. Oh, hello. Oh! Back off, buddy. Like a rock! <laughs> you know, Bob's just running around with his giant sword. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you literally went down there to take a bomb flower. And to get behind this cave. Oh, okay. Because the other skeletons weren't going to die until this guy died. Mm. Soldier's armor. There we go. Oh, my Oh no, you need to sneeze. Oh no, I need to sneeze! And also, oh no, now you're in jail! <laughs> now you're in jail! And I don't think there's actually... Maybe... Well, here we go, torches. torches. Yeah. Uh... Nah, it was worth a shot, though. I guess this is the only way out. How embarrassing would it be for Hyrule security if lighting two torches from inside the cell unlocks the door? <laughs> <laughs> like, dear God, like, like that would be, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be pathetic. <laughs> you were kind of like stuttering for a second. I was stuttering for a second, because Lord, like, look. The, the amount of stupidity that that would be took so like took so long to s properly sink in my brain stuttered in the meantime it needed a buffer i mean like i know that zelda like kind of te like made some teasing comments about like oh link will never think to you know think about lighting the lanterns when sh when uncovering the puzzle for his champions tonight but that's a lot different than this <laughs> yes <laughs> this is so yeah. much more dumb lots of rocks <laughs> I was about. I was. I felt like we should have been playing elevated music there for a minute. It's electric, like. Oh, actually, let's pull up the rest of this rock because there might be another passageway down there. I thought for a minute you were about to start singing the Jeopardy theme, and then you went into the. Uh, that always leads me into singing Hey Baby. Yep. Ooh, bomb flowers everywhere! Yay! There's so many bomb flowers after this one. I love it. Oh. Oh, oh, careful. Well. On the bright side, your avatars may be able to be eaten, but they at least won't get electrocuted. Yes. It would be pretty awkward if Tulin got shocked and then dropped his ghostly bow for a bit, and he's like, Oh no, I need that back, I need that back, send help. <laughs> 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 and like, it's just like, I'm trying, it's like, it's like, buddy, I cannot touch this for you. You can't have to do your best. <laughs> Is there anything up here? I don't know some bright blooms. A view? What? A view? <laughs> A better view than what you had down below. Slightly. Yeah, well, it does look like there is also a little cave up here as well. 
Uh, oh, it's. Oh, never mind. It, there I is know. Oh, yeah. It's a good thing falling like rock debris doesn't injure you. That would be pretty embarrassing if Link blew up that whole section and then clocked himself in the head with a piece of donut. Yes. Was that donut or luminous stone? Well, I think it was lum it probably was luminous stone, but this the the thing would still apply for like zonite or any yep. stone hollow. Or any stone that would actually happen, you know, you you blow up a barrier above you and then you accidentally knock yourself out with yep. the fallout. I might actually have to head back down because I think this is the way into the castle proper. Oh. Yes. We will come back up here in just a minute. I just want to check out that other pathway down here to see if there was anything. Eek. Anything else down Eek. here. A rock. Thorns. Bubbles! <gasps> oh, aren't you psyched, bonk? Oh, and I don't even actually need to use, um, what's it called? A fire like, fruit? Yes, I don't need to use a fire fruit to set those on fire, because I have Yunobo. <laughs> on Yunobo comes with his built-in flamethrower. You know, much like how you come with your own built-in flashlight. Yes, at least when I'm wearing this pants. At least when you build, yeah, that's true. You know, you, you know when you'll really come into handy is when you do get the full set? And then you can run around and leave little sparkles everywhere. Yes. So or I think I have to upgrade everything to level two, but yes. Then you become a legit. You then you become a legit sparkle fairy. <laughs> I would be so proud of you. Yeah. Uh, sorry, just looking around. Okay, there's that over here. Looking around in high real town. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here save for Mr. Bubble. So. Ah. Link uses uses Master Sword to mine rocks. I well, you know, it's not the weirdest thing the Master Sword's been used for, I'm sure. It was once used to hold a pumpkin. <laughs> it was also once used to hold waffles. The Master Sword is a blade of many things. <laughs> and Link has some very strange ideas about what those things might be. Uh, yeah, well, no one said he was ever not creative. <laughs> nope. Well. At least my version of Link doesn't torture the Koroks too much. Too much is the operative phrase there. I do not build crosses to crucify them. I guess you don't need to. You you still drop rocks on them. Deep beneath this land, our mighty first ruler imprisoned the Demon King. To ensure the king's magic would hold, we erected a castle here to protect this sacred site. Without the castle in place, the site may be disturbed, allowing the, the Demon King's hatred and rage to be revived. The preservation of this castle is therefore tied to the prosperity of the kingdom. May it watch over an eternal peace. Oh, there's something that's horrible about reading it as you're actively looking at a crumbling staircase. Mm-hmm. A place that's full of gloom and floating and, in the sky. And it also makes the fact that Calamity Ganon took over the castle first in the last game uh, yeah. potentially a little bit more significant. Ooh, yeah. Because it's like, oh, that could easily explain why why, Clam why Ganon Ganon came back. Or why, you know, why after so long he finally managed to break free. Because yeah. the castle was very disrupted, let's say. That's putting it mildly. Yep. There's also something to I wonder if the, um, how much the king and Zelda knew about this current monument down here. If they knew it existed, because honestly, when Ganon first showed up, Zelda seemed completely confused. Didn't even know. Who, didn't even know how to begin to categorize the person that she had seen. I mean, we were. I mean, you and I felt that it was Ganondorf because we had seen previous Ganondorfs. So we know it looks like him, but she yeah. had like no. She did not seem to have any frame of reference as to who he might be. Yeah, because the only Ganon they have ever dealt with is the Calamity. Yeah. And that is just sort of like a giant pig-like beast. 
And she doesn't seem to, I mean, no one really, no, no one really seems to have had a proper history as to who the Demon King even was, let alone the Imprisoning War. Well, well, Zelda in the very beginning did mention that the Imprisoning War is known, but it wasn't, maybe, it seemed maybe like they thought it was talking about Calamity Ganon and not Ganon Ganon. Yeah. And of course, you have all your sages who have like no idea what any of this is. Yeah. <laughs> your royal halberd broke before the foxes did. That is pretty funny. It's too bad that those foxes don't like do actually have items in them. Because how funny would it be if you attached one of those to the monster sword? I'm gonna fight you with a box! You, you definitely can. I know you can, but since there's stuff in them, I get why you're destroying them, because you're looking for all the gear you can, because... <gasps> That's not letting me grab it. Are you too far away? No. Maybe I need to go above it? There we go. Woo! Oh, it looks like it's on hinges. Yeah, I'm in the castle proper now. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the barracks. Oh. Or the guards chamber. Oh, God, yeah. I think I saw something else down here I want to check out first, though. Or it looks like the staircase kept going up, so... I'll check that out first. Mm -hmm. and... The Royal Halberd first. Now that you broke your other Royal Halberd. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. Keep going. There's something funny about, like, the, the weapons in this place, in the charger chests and stuff, do, um, it does make sense why they are decayed, considering they're in a place that's been, like, that's so currently infected with gloom, it's like, even if there's none available, the smoke is all over the place, there's miasmas everywhere. Mm -hmm. But there is something a little creepy about the fact that even, um, even weapons, like, in chests far away from where you are, or far away from any gloom, far away from, um, like, monsters, far away from the castle, it's so creepy that, you know, even that are kind of sealed in chests and have been for God knows how long, it's even creepier that even those ones have still managed to be touched. Yeah, well, I think it was implied sort of like, you know, that the gloom kind of sought out weapons when the, the upheaval first happened. So I can just imagine it just sort of like seeping into everything. Yeah. And that is, it is pretty creepy because... It, that implies that the gloom has a certain level of intelligence. Hmm. Well, it is directly controlled by Ganon, I'm pretty sure, given how it it directly went for the Deku Tree itself. At least some aspects of it are, and the and the um the Deku Tree was also um infected with the gloom hands, which are the only parts of it that really seem to be alive and able to move. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. Hi. They asked me to guard the place from thieves. Buddy, what? Like, hello? I feel like very few people are even able to get in here in the first place. You are in the sky. Have you no, we're not in the sky. Oh, we're still in the lower parts that you can access. That did make sense. 